हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कृषि जागरण बिजनेस प्लेटफॉर्म दैट कीप्स यू अपडेटेड विद ऑल द एग्री न्यूज ऑफ द नेशन दिस इज ज्योति सिंह लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट द टॉप हेडलाइंस ऑफ द डे हीट टू डैमेज वीट क्रॉप्स वॉन्स इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट वीट एंड बिल्डी रिसर्च पीएमएफएआई कंक्लूड्स इट्स सेकंड डे इंटरनेशनल क्रॉप साइंस कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एक्सपो इन दुबई पंजाब फार्मर्स फेस लॉसेस पोटैटो प्राइस हिट ऑल टाइम लो सेंटर अनाउंसेस सब्सिडी ऑफ रुपीस 31000 फॉर ऑर्गेनिक इनपुट्स फॉर फार्मर्स सेंटर टू इंक्रीज सुगर एक्सपोर्ट कोटा इन मार्च सेज फूड सेक्रेटरी टर्मरिक फार्मर्स टू स्टेप अप प्रोटेस्ट एज प्राइसेस फॉल गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग पुअर फार्मर्स लैंड टू इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट सेज राकेश टिकैत एवियन एवियन फ्लू टू स्प्रेड टू मोर कंट्रीज वॉन्स एक्सपर्ट्स Indian Institute of Wheat and Barley Research has warned that wheat crops could get damaged due to high temperatures this month. It said in case of a sudden temperature rise farmers should use light irrigation and spray potassium on the wheat plant to reduce the damage. But watering the plant should be stopped if there is a strong wind as the crop may fall otherwise can cause more damage. In an advisory issued on Friday the institute that functions under the Indian Council of Agriculture Research asked farmers to also regularly inspect their wheat crops for the yellow rust disease. The 17th International Crop Science Conference and Expo hosted by the Pesticides Manufacturers and Formulators Association of India concluded by glitzy award ceremony in Dubai on Friday night. Delegates and leading agrochemical companies visited the second day international event which is being manifested as India's biggest agri import trade show. The editor in chief of Krishi Jagran MC Dominic who attended the event posted glimpses of it on the micro blogging site Twitter. What a night it is when some of the leading brands are awarded at its glitzy award ceremony at International Crop Science Conference and Exhibition. Exclusive agri inputs taking place in Dubai. He wrote in one of his tweets along with multiple pics from the award ceremony sharing some more insights on the opening day of the event. The latter tweeted the pesticides manufacturers and formulators association of india kick started the 17th international crop science conference and exhibition india's biggest agri input trade show in dubai today delegate from all over the world are visiting this second day event the event's first day began with a conference after which a number of workshops were held to educate guests on new product and the development of the agrochemical sectors at the ceremony the pmfai also inked an mou with representative of the russian union of either directly or indirectly involved in the agrochemical industry the event is an important milestone potato prices have hit a disappointing low this season and farmers who had anticipated profits similar to last year are dealing with the frustrations kulwant singh a jalandhar farmer had decided to switch his crops to potato looking at the impressive earning of the year before table varieties which were marked between rupees 1400 and 1500 last season are now selling for approximately rupees 350 per quintal while premium types which were priced at rupees 1800 per quintal last season are only selling for around rupees 550 per quintal This season substantial price decline of roughly 70% has left farmers distressed. Kulwant Singh stated that if we do not get good prices with this time we will have to go back to wheat. The potato was shown over 1.14 lakh hectares which is 6000 hectares higher than the area under cultivation the previous season. 
Narendra Singh Tomar, Union Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, announced yesterday that the government has been implementing dedicated scheme to promote organic farming in the country since 2015-16, namely the Param Pragat Krishi Vikas Yojana and the Mission Organic Value Chain Development in the North East region. In response to a question about increasing the production of organic fertilizers and promoting organic farming, Tomer said farmers are primarily encouraged to engage in organic cultivation using organic inputs such as organic fertilizers. And the scheme provided farmers with end-to-end -end support, example from production to marketing of organic produce. Thomas stated that these schemes includes hands-on training for farmers in the production and use of organic fertilizers on the farmers. He stated that farmers receive a subsidy of rupees 31,000 hectare for three years under PKVY and 32,500 hectares for the same period under Mission Organic Value Chain. Development in the Northeast region for various organic inputs and that is rupees 667.34 crores have been set aside for the promotion of organic farming in 2022 to 2023. After assessing domestic production, the government will decide next month whether to increase the sugar export quota from the current 60 lakh tons for the current marketing year. According to Food Secretary Sanjeev Chopra, the Food Ministry has approved 60 lakh tons of sugar exports for the current marketing year 2022-2023, to which is expected to see drop in sugar production. The previous year, India exported a record 110 lakh tons of sugar. Is expected to reduce sugar production in the 2022 to 2023 marketing year. According to the Indian Sugar Mills Association, sugar production expected to fall 5% in the current marketing year to 340 lakh tons as most sugarcane juice is diverted for ethanol production. In 2021-22 marketing year, sugar production was 358 lakh tons and estimated 45 lakh tons of sweetener will be diverted to ethanol production. Sugarcane juice and bee molasses are being diverted to the ethanol manufacturing process. Farmers from Armour in the Nizamabad district have decided to stage a series of worries as the turmeric price per quintal has hit an all-time low of rupees 5,000. Because of this, the farmers are blaming the Agriculture Market Committee officials. Turmeric farmers have intensified their distress against the step fall in price of turmeric. Turmeric prices per quintal have dropped to an all-time low of rupees 5,000, which farmers blame on Agriculture Market Committee officials. They said that certain traders created a syndicate and used it to compel a drop in pricing. In a fit of range, some farmers recently locked the market committee's headquarters in Nizamabad. The government is handing over the land of the farmers to industrialists. These big companies want these farmers to work as pity labors in the very field that they once owned, said the national spokesperson of Bharatiya Kisan Union, Rakesh Tikat. He was interacting with the media after arriving the BKU camp in the Magmela area on Sunday night. He alleged that the government is doing everything to make this possible and wants to turn farmers into laborers. He further said that the government is not working in the interest of the farmers. There would have been no need for them to launch aviation and struggle to protect their interest, he said. Tikat also said that the government was doing the work for snatching away the land from the farmers, on which they depend on the family's survival. Tikat even claims that the farmers are not getting the right price for the crops and this is the sole reason for the situation of the farmer going from a bad to worse and the government is not paying any attention to the farmers and their woes. Animal and disease experts caution that the avian flu has spread to other parts of the world and has turned into a year-round issue. According to the reports, the issue was discussed by more than 20 specialists and farmers from four countries. They appoint that recent epidemic on chicken farms will likely continue. They also advise farmers to take the disease seriously throughout the year, rather than only taking precautions during the wild bird migration season in the spring. 
The virus has continued to spread over North and South America, Europe, Asia and Africa during the summer heat and the winter cold. After the disease killed tens of millions of chickens last year, egg prices reached all-time high. Those who utilize eggs as the primary source of protein are particularly harmed by these record costs, which come at a time of general economic distress. According to specialists, wild birds are mostly to blame for the virus spread. Ducks and other waterfowl can carry the disease and transmit to chickens by infected excrement, saliva and other methods. The World Health Organization states that there is still a low risk to human despite the fact that the virus can infect people, usually those who come into touch with infected birds. That's for today's all news. Keep watching Krishi's Business.